Hi, yeah, this is Param. In this video, I will explain about the monitoring clusters. Already we have in earlier videos, I have said something how to set uh, what how to set up the protection cluster and the monitoring cluster. Okay, I have explained about what is a monitoring cluster also. Okay, but how it is happened? Okay, uh, why we need to have monitoring clusters? Okay, we will see in this video. Okay. Uh, protection clusters is to monitor the protection application or actual end uh, client application or client environment or client infrastructure okay or protections okay that, that is what we call as a protection cluster. Monitoring cluster means monitoring protection cluster itself <laughs> monitoring elastic stack product itself okay rather than the end user application rather than our database server or rather than uh, any <coughs> server or process or reachable or not like any website something okay. Rather than monitoring actual end user, end user product, okay, monitoring elastic search product itself called monitoring clusters, okay. How we have to do, okay. There are several ways, okay. Either we can have the metric beat, okay, using the metric beat, or it is a separate, uh, we can install the metric beat along the, along the elastic search product. Let it be either dedicated host or let it be in the target host, okay. Let us say you are running a file beat, okay. So, uh, you want to monitor the file beat performance, okay, how the file beats or how the thread usage or uh, CPU usage ever, everything and all, okay, whether it is whether working fine or not, either is, is it uh, delaying with, either, I mean getting delaying with the uh, acknowledgement from the uh, Elastic Search, okay, this and all, okay, or how, how the harvesters are working within the file beat, there are many things are okay, there. so if you want to know the internal metrics of the file beats, okay, there are two ways. So, one is the first thing, so you have to enable your instrumentation. In file, let us say for example, with the file beat, file beat at a YML files, we can we have to enable the instrumentations, okay. So, that it will uh, write, uh, it will uh, it will it will make ready for the many internal details, okay. Not only file beat, every file, every beats, in every beats, you can enable with the instrumentation because of most of the beats are developed using the Go language. Uh, but uh, uh, Logstash, sorry, uh, but Logstash has been developed in the um, Ruby language, okay. Uh, the, but still there also you can enable the internal metrics, fine, that is the one way, okay. So, the metrics can be put into the, my metrics can be, so metrics are available now, okay. You have enabled all the beats, all the log stash, okay. In fact, even in the log stash, the log of Elasticsearch as well or Kibana as well, so, okay. So, in uh, in all the Elasticsearch product, you have enabled the metrics, okay. So, metrics available, it can be accessed through the API or it can be accessed through the uh, log or it can be accessed through the metric beat. That is all, that is 3B, okay. So, you can uh, some, uh, some of the beats, let us say for a file beat, okay, uh, for, uh, for a log stash in fact, okay. So, they are exposing their internal matrix through API. So, you can get through uh, internal matrix through API, that is one option, okay. Okay. Second option is uh, log files, okay. Say for example, uh, 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 it is writing the log, right. Uh, similarly, all the beats also writing the logs, right? Okay. So, using the log file content, you can read and push into the elastic search or uh, that is monitoring cluster for the monitoring cluster. So, so log file is another source. And the third one is metric beat, okay. So, you can run the metric beat within the um, along with the elastic search product, okay. Now, let us say here you can see that Kibana you have assume that Kibana you have installed on a dedicated server, a dedicated host, okay. In that you, you can install metric beat as well. So, that what is the metric beat can collect all the Kibana related metrics. Uh, and send it to Elastic Search, okay. Monitor, here you can see the monitoring clusters, okay. This is not a production cluster. Just naming is different, but technically all are same, okay. Don't worry. Okay. So, this is a production cluster. Yeah, you can see that here is a production cluster, here is a monitoring cluster, okay. Now, okay. So, uh, in this video, especially what is the, how we can enable, what are the different way to collect the metrics of the Elastic Stack, elastic stack product, how we can be, how we can analyze, that is what we are going to see, okay. Fine. So, as I told you, so first thing is API, okay, you can expose the API using, uh, invoking API, you can collect the data, that is one option. Log files, uh, if it is log file, we will be using the file beat, okay. Along with that, uh, uh, if you want to get the internal metrics of the runtime, uh, 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 process by the, uh, instead of the process itself, you can use the metric beat. So, met metric beat will not read the file, right, it will get the internal detail of the running instance, that means elastic search, Kibana or any log stash, feed, beats, you can see here, right. So, it can be anything, okay. All this it, it, it can it, it can be anything, okay. 
so here you are using the file bit using the file bit also you can collect the matrix and uh, and push into the El elastic search this is what is the advantage in this na? say uh, you have a lock if the lock search goes down but still metric is available okay so still you can say uh, you can you can get get some data like is the lock search available or not something like that okay uh, so similarly beach you are running beats okay so if the beats are goes down okay still you, uh, uh, to collect the metrics you are not depend on the beat itself so if you are enabling the b uh, if you are if you are depending on the uh, api or log file content okay that actual instance are running as long as those actual instances are running you are good to get collect the collect the metrics of the product but if the actual uh, actually elastic product is goes down there is no they, there is no way to get the data right okay so in this in this in this such, such a case only we will be think, we will be go uh, we will be use metric beat as a alternative to collect the uh, collect the internal internal uh, runtime data of the elastic product okay that is that is our advantage okay so though your actual though your actual actual elastic elastic products goes down still metric beats are running in the same host so still you will get some some data okay okay so that these are the different source one is uh, metric beat yes we, we have seen the, we have seen advantage as well so okay just we have to run that shit along with the same target set okay or using the ap or you can use the uh, log log file content okay but this is how it will be okay so we will have a separate dedicated elastic search cluster uh, but i would say please have one node cluster is enough okay single node cluster is enough sir okay we know because of who is going to customer for this one only the elastic, elastic uh, stack administrator or elastic stack, stack vendor okay so the our elastic, elastic stack team they are taking care of the, they have they have installed they are using the they are, they, are, uh, they have installed they have configured okay so only those people going to use this elastics uh, elastic, uh, uh, monetary cluster okay so single node cluster is enough 99 percent i would say uh, but if you want to have at least you can go for three node cluster then okay now how you can analyze how you can view how you can alert okay there is a separate application or stack monitoring within the kibana okay so there is a separate app within the kibana that is called stack monitoring in that you can get to know all the details how the how the performance of your elastic stack product in the target machine or in dedicated host okay so that is what here i think i have explained here so portion less yes log files of elastic is in the file bit okay okay yeah okay so uh, file bit or metric bit okay so i have I, I, in fact i have explained the benefit of uh, running separate instance because of see very simple uh, metric bit is running separate process right uh, if it is exposed to ap means okay so i think i can put it here or here okay okay so expose api expose metric api okay so there are there are there are three different ways you can collect the data and push into the separate node but uh, uh, for the monetary single node is enough sir okay uh, separate single node is enough i don't want to say okay single node plus enough uh, single node uh, separate single node or monetary cluster is enough okay let me pull okay okay so this is what uh, monitoring clusters okay uh, of course there is uh, you, you can use the kibana separate as uh, a kibana app called uh, stack monitoring uh, to to visualize what is happened what is happening exactly so that you are confident okay as a elk admin okay you can con you can say confident yes my product is working fine okay my, my uh, so uh, if it is working fine then obviously the all the product is monitored properly okay uh, okay so that is uh, that's how you can you, you, you can have get more confidence or more credibility okay with the tools that's all about this monetary cluster thank you thanks for watching sir.